While all water brings with it the risk of drowning, some bodies of water are just more dangerous than others. There doesn't seem to be one specific area that's worse than the rest either, as you'll see, extreme dangers can be found across the globe. Just what makes certain waters more dangerous than others? The answers vary and are a blend of natural and man-made reasons. From deceptive-looking streams to deadly lakes to furious ocean passes, these dangerous locations will have you looking twice before ever entering the water again. The Drake Passage Before the Panama Canal was built, if you wanted to travel from the eastern U.S. to the west coast, you had to travel through the southern tip of South America. Known as the Drake Passage, this area where the Pacific meets the Atlantic is known for unpredictable weather and water conditions. Strong currents and winds can easily reach 10 on the Buford scale, making for a rough and injury-inducing ride for passengers. To put that in perspective, a full-out hurricane reaches a 12 on the scale. Rio Tinto How dangerous can a small river be? Well, one look at the Rio Tinto and we bet you'll change that question to what is wrong with that river? It might look like a picture taken from a Martian landscape or a river of lava flowing from a volcano, but that is actually water flowing in Spain's Rio Tinto. Years of mining have made the river red with dissolved iron. The water, too acidic for humans, with a pH similar to lemon juice, is home to bacteria which feeds on the mineral deposits released by the mining. The Chita Rum River East of Jakarta, Indonesia, you can find the Chita Rum River which flows from the mountains to the Java Sea. Depending on where you're standing, you might see the river itself or a moving mass of garbage. That's because the Chita Rum is one of the most polluted rivers in the world. Hundreds of factories and millions of people dump their waste into the river, turning it into a deadly cocktail of domestic waste and industrial chemicals. Fishermen reportedly make a living not by catching fish, but by recycling the plastics that they recover from the river. Lake Karache In south-central Russia, you can find the Mayak nuclear production facility which worked with and disposed of radioactive material all through the Cold War era. What did Mayak do with the nuclear waste during that time? Well, they dumped a lot of it into nearby Lake Karache. In fact, the lake became so radioactive that even standing near it for an hour would kill you. Today, Mayak continues to do his work, but has stopped dumping in Lake Karache. That said, we don't think even the bravest person would think of going for a swim here. Fukushima if you ever plan to go swimming or fishing off the coast of Japan, we suggest you double check your location. In 2011, the coastal nuclear plant at Fukushima Daiichi suffered a triple meltdown after it was damaged by a massive tsunami. Radioactive water spilled from the plant and reportedly even continues to this day. This makes the waters immediately around the plant very unsafe, and depending upon currents, unsafe levels could exist well beyond the 20 kilometer zone of restriction placed around the plant. The Amazon River You can't have any discussion about dangerous waters without mentioning this Brazilian jungle river. The Amazon is unsurprisingly dangerous, but it may not be for the reasons you think. Sure, there are piranhas, anacondas, fish that shock you, and flesh-eating bacteria. But there's one little fish that is especially nasty. The candiru is a small fish that loves to swim into people's orifices and eat away. Small enough to swim up a urethra, they have small barbs, meaning surgery is usually needed to remove them. Australia Australia is a beautiful country, but it is also filled with freakish animals, some of which are extremely dangerous. This applies to waters around Australia. If you've been paying attention to the news, then you know that two people were recently killed by sharks in the coastal waters of Australia. In fact, Australia has some of the most shark-infested waters in the world. With over 570 recorded attacks, 153 people have been killed by sharks in Australian waters. The South China Sea If you're wondering why the Bermuda Triangle isn't on this list, it's because recent studies have shown it isn't dangerous at all. In fact, compared to the South China Sea, the Bermuda Triangle is extremely safe. Thanks to growing world demand for goods and the necessity to ship the majority of goods by sea, the South China Sea is constantly filled with massive cargo and tanker vessels. Combine this congestion with shallow waters and lack of regulations, and you get nearly 300 accidents in the last 15 years. The Strid In Yorkshire, England, there is what appears to be a pleasant little river called the Wharf. 
The wharf, at one point, narrows significantly and is surrounded by moss-covered rocks, looking like something that you'd see in a landscape painting. Don't be fooled, though. Despite being narrow and relatively calm on the surface, this section, known as the Strid, is extremely dangerous. Under the surface, the water is very deep and has a strong current that would smash anyone against the rocky sides. Reports are that the river has a 100% fatality rate for anyone unlucky enough to fall in. Alright, thanks for watching our video, folks. Here's a couple other videos we think you might like before you go jump headlong into dangerous waters, which we suggest you don't do. Another thing I suggest is giving this video a like and subscribing to The Richest for more awesome videos every day. Thanks!